News now how, guys. Okay, so I'm going to respond to a a, um, a video I saw of, of a certain auditor. I use that, like, auditor. Trying to explain <laughs> the criminal trespass law. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but... I can see where the person would read this the wrong way and would read it that, oh, if we're at a police station and a, a cop tells us we have to leave, that we can be charged with criminal trespass if we don't leave. I find that hard to believe. And even if it is the truth, it's not right. And if you're a civil rights activist and you claim you're a civil rights activist and you claim you're an auditor, then what's the point in going out with your camera and filming these places? And if they say, hey, you got to leave and you know it's wrong, that it shouldn't, the law shouldn't be that way, even if it is, what's the point in, in leaving and doing what they say? Isn't the whole point to, to push it so that they change the law? You know, I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, I do what I do to change laws that, and codes that they got to try to change them to make them more uh, the way they should be. You know, we have constitutional rights and we have the right to freedom of press. So if I'm in a police station and I'm filming and an officer walks up and says, hey, I don't want you here. You need to leave. I'm going to tell him to go, um, go get bent. You know what I mean? Because for one, I have the right to be there and film and I have the right to film public officials in the course of their duties how can I film public officials in the course of their duties if every time you walk into a place that's supposedly publicly owned and they tell you to leave how, how are you able to do that you're not so that's why it's wrong um, I, I believe that it doesn't apply to um, uh, places that you're allowed to be. Uh, it says, first of all, the first sentence in the criminal trespass law says, uh, knowingly uh, remain or uh, be or remain in a place that they're not allowed to be. You're allowed to be in a police station. You're allowed to film them. You're allowed to be in there filming. Uh, you're allowed to be in a government building, a publicly owned building. We own that shit. Of course we can be in there filming that. Why can't we? So that would be no different than them saying that we can't film inside of our house. I mean, there's no difference. We own that. We own our house. Same difference to me. Uh, but, you know, I mean, that's his opinion. I'm not going to say he's wrong. But, you know, hey, he can read that code and interpret it however he wants. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I just have a problem when he tries to push his opinions as facts on other people, you know, but that I do have a problem with. Uh, just like the, oh, you have to ID to an officer if uh, they get a call for uh, service. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You know, it, just because they get a call for service doesn't mean that you have to uh, give them your ID. Why would you? Okay, somebody calls in and says there's a suspicious person. There's still no crime committed. The suspicious activity, being a suspicious person, isn't a crime. So what reasonable suspicion do they have to ID you? None. So that blows that out of the water. But anyway, um, I believe the first sentence of this uh, of uh, the ORC is the co is the key phrase, and that's that uh, um, a person knowingly stay or be or remain in a place that they're not allowed to be you know we're allowed to be there guys so of course we can film a cop that's gonna that would be like saying i mean that he's saying no difference than if i'm standing on a sidewalk and a police officer says hey i need you to move off this sidewalk that you have to move i mean that's a public a uh, property so it's no difference so obviously he's gonna go out and audit and anything the cops tell him to do, he ha he's going to do it. What's the point? Why are you out being an auditor? Why are you out doing anything? 
I mean, if you're just going to do everything that they tell you to do, even if you feel it's unlawful, then what's the point? There, You serve no point doing what you're doing. So you should just quit. But uh, that's just my opinion. I in no way am interpreting the, the law. Um, you know, everybody can read it the way they want. If they don't want to... Uh, if they don't want to fight it, they don't have to fight it, you know. They can do like he and him and obey every command that an officer gives you, you know. Um, but I don't see what point in being an auditor is and being an activist if you're just going to, you're not going to fight for the, the laws that you, you feel are unjust, unjust, you know. The bottom line is, is the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And that's the bottom line, guys. The bottom line is that the, the, the United States Constitution is the supreme law of our land. And, this, and the Constitution says we have the freedom of press. So that's all I got to say about it. You know? And, you know, people can take it for what they want. They can... You know, I just don't, like I said, what is the point? If you're an auditor and you're a civil rights activist, you're going out here with your camera and you're, the whole point that we do this is to try to make change, not, not just go out and say, I've got a camera, I'm filming you. What are you going to do? Oh, you want me to leave? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. I've got a camera. What are you going to do? Oh, you want my ID? Someone called you? Oh, here's my ID. Nah, fuck that. You know, uh, one of the trolls on my channel said, uh, I was talking about my cracked windshield and um, when I got pulled over by the cop after the checkpoint. I think it's funny, but yeah, I got a cracked windshield. Big deal. Okay. They don't pull me over for it. They can if they want. Um, you know, they can give me a warning. Uh, I'll fix it when I have the money to fix it. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, they said something about me not having my ID. Like, okay, yeah, no, I don't. When I go out and I audit I don't carry ID with me. My ID is nowhere around. I do that because I don't want them to ID me. Duh. So anyway, I mean, that's pretty much the, the whole thing. And I just wanted to comment on that, guys. All right, y'all. This is News Now How. Out.